Hello and welcome back to Snowbunner and our hard mode series. We are jumping back in with our large log deliveries. This is our third log or our third lot of long logs going to the uh, sawmill here in Black River. Once these are delivered, we're going to jump to the next logging job, the next logging contract that requires. Uh, long logs. We're going to try and get all the long logs out of the way first, then we'll uh, move on to the medium logs. So we'll, we'll, we'll sort of tick all of them off very close together, hopefully, get a good payout. And things will look well for us since we wasted a bit of money in trying to set up the logging crane last time out. That wasn't good. Uh, we've wasted money throughout with buying upgrades that we necessarily didn't need and you know <laughs> again wasting fuel that we do need so we're hoping for a good payout but getting these logs done means we are oh so much closer to reaching Alaska and it's taken a long time I do apologize for that <laughs> it's just sort of sort of in the way of it unfortunately Hopefully our time in Alaska will be smooth and I'll be able to uh, get time to record them uh, hopefully closer together and be able to release them maybe a little bit quicker, that would be nice. We'll see how things go. We've got farming going on at the minute, we've got the NASCAR going on at the minute. We're having a little dabble in some retro games. So just trying to keep myself occupied. As many of you know who have followed me for a while I like to to do a variety of things so I have to keep doing what I enjoy and you know it's not to say I don't enjoy this I absolutely love this game I absolutely love it but it's like a lot of things if you do it constantly then it's not as fun so that's why I like to mix in the other things that's why the farming disappears at times it just you know as much as I love farm sim I can't just live on farm sim it's like eating one meal for the rest of your life. And there's this whole smorgasbord of goodies to have. And obviously we've got our big trucking job on, on the go as well with uh, Conquering Britain in the Euro Truck Simulator 2. And I'm tr going to try and find... <laughs> try and find a little bit more time on a Sunday evening to join the SD Logistics guys, the uh, BTC that I drive for through uh, ETS and ATS and join them for the Sunday convoy because I do like doing that, it's a good laugh for the guys so. I want get, to get more time trucking with those rather than just being in the chat but anywho, back to, back to Snowen, thanks for coming back Thanks for continued support for those that are coming back time and time again. And enduring the pace of this journey with me. If I can get a couple of evenings where I can record a couple of these, a couple of evenings a week, then then things get moving. That's all it takes. Not as possible. Not with a young family. I used to always start recording about seven. I think it's now closer to nine. So it's just it's just how it is. So there we are, that is the final, we bring it up, just got six medium logs to run for the rest of that job. And that job, because I didn't even check, um, it's going to pay out 22 grand, so that's pretty good. And that's the easiest of the, uh, the, 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 the lumber deliveries. Um, 
logs to the workers. Uh, these are in Smithsville. So this is probably what we'll do next because it's two long log jobs. And let's go into the quarry. That'll be fun. And the drilling site. You can't get long logs from within uh, the dam. You have to uh, bring them from here in uh, Black River. So we'll head back and we'll get ourselves some more of them. And continue to worry about the fuel. sort of churned this up a little bit the last <laughs> the last day or two it's getting pat down real good nice and tight hopefully we can get some swift um, log loading as well we had a little bit of an issue on the last one if I remember rightly one of the logs wasn't playing ball with us. Shortcut. The shortcut's really quick if you can keep momentum. Like I said, I don't like going that way up. I have a I have a tendency to roll on that side, so that's why we take this slightly longer route going around but we save where we can we try and cut the river on the way back and we go through the woods at the top here rather than following around on the road sometimes it's, it's uh, a little bit of a uh, six of one half a dozen of the other sort of thing with some of these routes it's designed to be that way Hopefully we can get these two deliveries done in this uh, single day. We should be able to, I think. All going well. Depends on how things go in the quarry, doesn't it? That's, that's where the risk is going to be. And as always, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about fuel in, this, in the next map. By the time we get in and out, I'm not sure if we'll have, a, we'll have enough in the tank to do that. And I'm running out really quickly.
know, a little bit frustrating. We do have two big tankers of fuel, but they are way off. Uh, the gateway into Island Lakes, and then the other one is in Drummond Island still. But we will need to head to those locations eventually. But, again, to get them out, it's sending a truck in. Pull them out, which we have to do with part of the tidy up at the end anyway. Anything we need, anything that's left over, we need to collect up and bring in fuel wise and hopefully repair wise. There's another repair trailer if we can bring that in and touch up whatever we damage. heading out of here in the opposite direction so we'll park ourselves like so that is well and truly sunk in there now isn't it right load. Already got a bit of a tilt on it. Lovely. You do love to see it. It's going to miss then. Engine off. Switch over. Let's pack away our cargo. Another full load. And we shall refuel. There's, there's a, one more. One more load left. And that's it. We, if we uh, jump out, nope. There we go. We should be able to repair the Pacific, and then we can get back to full full power to weight. This only took a little bit of damage, but I, I, I could tell we had a little less power. So we're going to head off to um, Smithsville Dam now. We're going to go through the the fallen, it's like fallen bridge, or whether it's just a a flooded road. I think it's a fallen bridge, isn't it? And we'll probably go to the quarry first while we've got the most daylight, so I can see the most the most track really have that best view of it rather than trying to do the quarry at night hopefully I mean we might not have daylight still by the time we get there 
It does take a while. Getting stuck on those little rocks is not going to help. lock on before we start accelerating again. Not always easy. I think I said before the P16 doesn't always like <laughs> moving forwards once you've got the wheels turned from a stand and start. Sometimes you have to give it a little bit of a roll. Typical. Don't want too much of that because, well, I think we've got we have got a tyre in Smithsville actually. We just have to take the a different vehicle down to collect that repair trailer. Probably going to be a lot of winch in here. This is the bit that makes me think we're not going to that we might not get time to do everything. Come on, get down. Just get some sort of momentum. Good. That might be the thumbnail. So you want to try and stay as close to the uh, those pylons as you can. The telephone poles or whatever they are. Just in case, and then give yourself a good old winch to them. If you're too far over to the right, if you're in the middle or way right over on the right, there's not a lot to winch to. There's there's trees, there's fell trees in the river, but obviously they have a bit of give and pull on them. And as the pylon is the pylon is uh, nice and sturdy. Now I believe that one of the other jobs has, I think, two long log loads. I think it's going into Island Lakes. We'll, uh, we'll concern ourselves with this one to start with. Get this done safe.
I feel like you get the best view from the P16 from the inside. to the dam. Right, we'll try and save a little bit of time, we'll skip that. My, <laughs> this call me weird because I can sort this out at the end. <laughs> then with whatever fuel, fuel I've got left at the end I can come back and fill them up. We do have a fuel trailer by the farm but I don't want to have to go out of my way that far to uh, fill this up en route or on the way back. And we'll have to go farm way to uh, get to the um, drilling site. I'm sure it's the drilling site was the other one wasn't it? So,
slow down, try and uh, get around this tight corner without damaging the truck too much. Or at all. Get in there. It's almost like I know how to drive. Almost. I have to try and remember which is the best way around with the logs in the quarry. I should have a little look at the map. So, we want to go in, we want to go right, so we go round, come down, through, and we can either try and work our way back up, or we can just try and turn, actually we should be able to loop around in there, and then come back out the same way, hopefully. Again, not always as easy as it sounds when you say it. This is the tight quarry with all the rocks and everything. Now, you see what I mean? That doesn't necessarily look so good, does it? Whichever way you go, you have a tight turn. So, I think... Send in if I do it. I'll get my pointer on if I can. There it is. Yeah, so if we go round, can I do it? Yeah. To the top will come down. But then that over there obviously is, is quite a turn, so we'd have to try and turn that round somehow. That way, go up and round, you have to try and turn it to come down. And then snake it again to go through. Or it's trying to get it to go down. My old favourite. Although that would take us that way. So perhaps we'll do that actually. And if we can get this to go down there nicely. That'll be the one. If we can't get the skill down there nicely, we'll, uh, we'll roll over. <laughs> it's that symbol. It's that symbol. Because the turn and circle, as you can see, is pretty poor. And it does not like reversing. So you need to try and have it in this smoother, singular motion as possible, if that makes sense. Oh, I've got my, oh, I've got my, got my brakes on. And we're still just sort of slowly rocking down. Oh, come on. 
There we go. There we are. But the crisis isn't over. So we've got to get there yet. There's enough terrain here to uh, slip you up if you're not careful. Gives me heart palpitations. I'm not sure, not sure if that's the game or the coffee, but. <laughs> oh. It is so, so easy to roll here. And I've tried going like straight over there before, and yeah, that doesn't work out. Just don't want to go too heavy with it because you'll get that massive jump, and then everything will flip and bounce. run up at that. Hopefully now that that rock is out of the way we can have a better go at it. I'll do it, whatever. Blow them out of the way. Come on. Nothing to winch to. Keep it going. Come on, come on. You can do this. So too bad. I was I was expecting even more fuel usage than there was, but that's not too bad. Right. Ooh, let's take a little breath for a minute. I 
think the easiest way out is going to be going back from whence we came. I think when I did this on the stream series, I did the quarry last and I just left that down there. <laughs> I just left the trailer down there. Didn't need it anymore. But we do need it. We've got a few more long log jobs. Oh, brutal. Can we grab those tires? Oh, we might gonna have to grab those tires in a minute. Didn't even see that old frame. Forgotten that was there. Sorry about the dodgy camera angles. It's showing you. Uh, why do I think? Okay, this is where you need the all-wheel drive. We need all-wheel drive just so you can get a little bit of something with those front tyres, because they are... Sometimes they're worse than the dead axles on other, tri on other trucks. So they just don't help. They just become like a, a blocking point. Come on. And like I've said many times, the low gear doesn't seem to help you at all in the P16. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Damn trailer. And that's an off-road trailer. That's not even like the standard road type trailer that you would normally get. This is... Man, this is insane. Got absolutely no traction on anything, and I can't see because it's bloody dark. That's sort of one of them situations where it's actually easier to do it with the weight on the back, with the logs. So it pushes the truck down, you get some traction. God blimey. Shouldn't be that hard. That nearly half a half a tank of fuel gone. A quarter of that we've used since we got down the bottom of the quarry.
Come on. Yeah, damn rocks got in the way. Oh no, all coming down. I've got to come down here with something to um, pull it out. Well, uh, if I detach the trailer, how far away does that drop off? Well, not very far at all. Actually, let's try and do it without the trailer and then reattach the trailer afterwards. Can we do that? Apparently not. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare go all the way. That is not coming out there, is it? in the bloody air. There's no weight to it. I won't even go backwards now because it's stuck on that rock. Well, that's not good, is it? Right. Job for you, girl. See if you can give it a little pull. Then probably have to back down and pull the trailer up again. Although I think the trailer was the that trailer was free, so we have to buy another. We have to buy another one. Let's not lose a tyre on the way down there, come on. These, these these rocks have been an absolute nightmare. I've never, again, like I've said many times with everything else has been a problem, I've never had so much issue with driving over these tiniest of rocks, messing up the suspension and bursting tyres. The tiniest rocks, not the big ones, the little ones. Start to get away from me there. Yeah, if you give yourself more freedom in your play style and the way you do it. Obviously, you could go to other maps and find bigger and more powerful trucks to do some of these jobs and then bring them back here. But this is the way we're doing it. careful down here because we always lump and bang on or something. That's not what I wanted. Perhaps it was. There you go. So I don't think this is going to have enough power to pull that out. 
so if not then um, yeah pretty much screwed aren't we again just have to smack it all the way down and drive it all the way around the long way probably not what I wanted to be doing in the darkness not this and it just sort of shows there's absolutely no point again in me trying to tidy up trucks and put them up somewhere because all these trucks were parked up down here oh don't you dare get bloody stuck as well on a bl on a route on a on a map route you're getting stuck on map routes now you're having a laugh you are having a laugh Come on, up you come. You swine. You absolute swine. Grass up that hill. trailer up. It's going to be facing the wrong way. a little bit of bloody gumption, it's all I want. Come on. Piss and great truck. Still can't get up on its own bloody steam. This is insane. Again, never have I had this problem before. What the hell is this? Come on. Up the bloody hill. So we get the trailer. Christ almighty. This is mental. Perhaps I should have saved it to last. I could have just left the bloody thing down there then. I want to attach to the top, please. At least attempt to bring it up for me. Oh, 
if we give it a little pull, that'll flip itself the right way. You know? <laughs> I don't want to try and attach it while it's flipped, because it might... F you know what the physics are like. Sometimes that'll flip the truck rather than the uh, trailer. Let's just get this out of here and we'll try and salvage what we can. Oh, is there... I just wanted two smooth drop-offs. Get this job done. Get paid for something. Feel like I was working towards it. No, don't have all this fannying around with every little job. Every little job there's fannying around with. Nearly out of bloody fuel. Absolutely mental. You dare fall over. Getting stuck on routes again. This is when do we get stuck on map routes? When did that become a thing? Especially in a bloody great truck like this. What is happening here? Come on. That piss and truck. How is that trailer too heavy? Come on. It's not on me. Crying out loud. Now it's not going to attach to it. Come on, up the hill. It's not that hard, mate. Come on. Bloody trailer. No, don't you dare. Don't you friggin' dare. What on earth is going on? What the hell?
just don't believe it. I just cannot believe it. Covering this is going to cost me another whole job again. Pissant truck. I don't know. What's the time? Half six. Oh, dear. Not in a million years am I doing that, am I? Not in a million bloody years. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Because I'm going to lose this one next. I'm just so annoyed. I am so annoyed. So annoyed.
I'll see you in the next one when my blood's not boiling.